Hi guys, Mrs. Schleiss again here. Welcome back. Thought we'd read another book today. This one is called Ribbit. Notice that is a pig. So we're gonna read this book. We have the cover of our book. We have the spine of our book. Lovely cover art there, I really like it. We have our title page. Title page has three things. We have the title, we have the author's name, which is Rodrigo Falguiera. We have the illustrator's name, Polly Bernadettine. Hmm. And a lovely picture. Remember, we don't need a picture on a title page, just an extra bonus for us. Once upon a time, there was a pond that was home to a family of frogs. It was their pond, and they were very happy living there. But one morning they discovered a surprise visitor. It was a pig, a little pink pig, sitting on a rock. Goodness, said the frogs, why is there a pig in our pond? They whispered amongst themselves. Until finally, the chief frog spoke up. <coughs> Good morning. What can we do for you? And to their amazement, the little pig answered. Ribbit. What did he say? cried the frogs. That pig is confused. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, the little pig was Ribbit. News of the little pig who thought he was a frog spread fast and all of the animals hurried to the pond to see the visitor. This this new relative of yours is a little pink, said the raccoon. He's no relation of ours, declared the frogs. He certainly sounds like a frog, said the weasel. Why would a pig want to be a frog, said the parrot. And what's wrong with being a frog, may we ask, exclaimed the frogs. Everyone started shouting at each other, completely ignoring the little pig, who just sat there practicing his ribbit. The animals laughed and laughed, and the frogs got angrier and angrier until finally the chief frog shouted out, Stop! We must not, we're not getting anywhere by fighting. We must go and find the wise old beetle. He'll know what to do. The wise old beetle, gasped all the animals. But he hates to be disturbed. I know, said the chief frog, but this is very serious. That's true, the animals agreed, and off they went. And the little pig said, Ribbit. The animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain the problem. It was hard for him to understand because they were all talking at once. In the end, he agreed to go with them to the pond. But when they arrived, the animals cried. Who, who was he? What did he want? Maybe, said the wise old beetle. He just wanted to make friends. And off he went. Oh dear, said the animals. They hadn't thought of that. Tweet! 
And sure enough, sitting on a branch high up in a nearby tree was the little pig. Tweet, 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 tweet. He was surrounded by new friends. And there's the back of our book. I love reading the back sometimes. They're really good. A group of frogs living happily in a peaceful pond until they woke up one morning to a surprise visitor, a pig sitting on a rock in the middle of their pond. The pig opens his mouth and says, Ribbit! What could a little pond want from a pig want from a bunch of frogs? With lively humor and charming illustrations, this, this story of difference in friendships and rollicking rabbits, ribbits, ribbits, sorry. <laughs>